North Carolina is already one of the fastest growing states in the nation, and an additional 3 million people are projected to move here over the next 15 years. This population growth also means an increase in traffic, especially on North Carolina's urban interstates. With so many people relying on our interstates to take their kids to school, commute to work, haul freight, and just generally get where they need to go, at certain times of the day, traffic can slow to a crawl or stop altogether. One reason for these delays is the volume of vehicles trying to merge onto the interstate at the same time, which leads to increased congestion, frustrated drivers, and an increased risk for crashes. To enhance the overall flow of traffic during peak times and to improve safety, NCDOT is looking to a proven strategy called on-ramp signals, also known as ramp meters. These stop-and-go signals are located on entrance ramps. The signals control or meter traffic flow onto interstates during the most congested times of the day by creating a gap between vehicles allowing one at a time to merge onto the freeway. Here's how it works. Ramp signals use sensors that are placed on the interstate and the on-ramp. The interstate sensors detect vehicle volume to determine when traffic is heavy enough for the signal to operate. The sensors on the on-ramp also detect vehicles in order to minimize backups on the ramp itself. This helps prevent on-ramp traffic from spilling onto local streets when the ramp signal is in operation. Ramp signals steadily and evenly introduce vehicles to traffic flow on the freeway, which allows for more reliable travel times, reduced congestion, and fewer collisions. Ramp signals have been used around the country for more than 50 years to help improve interstate traffic flow, but it's a new concept here in North Carolina. Recognizing that ramp meters are not a cure-all for congestion and are not the right solution for all situations, NCDOT has carefully researched and prioritized locations around the state that are the best candidates for ramp signals. The first ramp signals in North Carolina will be installed on I-540 in northern Wake County. With the addition of this proven and cost-effective technology, NCDOT can provide an improved level of service to our residents and visitors.